Investing friends, welcome into Investors Club. Got a great show for you. We used artificial intelligence. Pretty cool. We love ChatGPT. ChatGPT is it's it's like Google only a lot lot better. It's like it's like uh, somebody it's like Google come to life. You get to talk to a guy named Google and he just answers or a, or a girl named Google and just answers all your questions or a non-binary person named Google just answers all your questions. Really great stuff. So I asked ChatGPT about cassava's uh, data that they're waiting on. I described the kind of data they're waiting on and said, how long does it take for biostatisticians, bioanalytics people uh, to put this stuff together? And we got an answer. We'll take a look at that answer. We also put a poll out there, put a poll out there to the Twitterverse, got more than 100 responses. When do you think? When do you think this data is coming in? We'll take a look at that. We will take a look at that. Uh, what else do we got? What else do we got? It is Padufa Day. It is today is the Padufa date for Biogen's Lacane Mab. We're expecting approval. We'll see. Uh, Aducanu Mab, of course, got approved. Big Pharma uh, has tons of tons and tons and tons. It has nothing but influence with the FDA. The FDA is a thinly veiled uh, arm <laughs> of Big Pharma. It seems sixty-seven people here. Great to see you guys. And then we got Rain Oncology. Rain Oncology is up 22% since I recommended it one week ago. If you would have put 10 grand into Rain Oncology, you'd have 2,200 bucks extra right now. Why are you not on the newsletter? The other people that are on the newsletter, we make fun of you. We get together in the Discord and make fun of you for not being on the newsletter when you could be making so much money. That's a fact. It's a fact. We will take a look at that. Uh, not an investment advisor, not investment advice, number one ranked stock analyst in the world. What we're doing here is the best research and analysis for you and me, the regular investor, because the financial media lies to us. And that's okay that the financial media lies to us because we have each other. We have Investors Club and we are going to do a way better job than those bozos in the financial media ever could anyway. If you like that, please hit like. The algorithm likes like and you are going to like liking like. If you like liking like, you are going to love sharing and commenting. Uh, so share and comment, please. Let's get into this thing. 82 people here. Good to see you guys. Let's do this thing. Rain is up to 717. We got behind rain at the end of the day on 1229. We'll take a look at it. It was in the sevens. We were like, darn, this thing is up 15% in the last two days. But we think it's because this Q1 catalyst, we think this data is going to be great. And we think this thing is just going to keep going. And it has. It's kept going 22 more percent. We think it's going to keep on going. Uh, 22 more percent and then plus more, whatever it is now. So rain is up more than 7%. There's the three times utilities. There's the three times small caps. There's the three times uh, uh, Qs. And there's the three times S&P 500. All those, rain is beating them all. But then the next four things are those triple levered funds. S&P, small caps, uh NASDAQ and the, the utilities are all up a, a bunch. Netlist is up. Energy's up. Uh, pipelines are up. DRD Gold keeps on going. You know we've been talking about DRD Gold. This one highly levered to the, the, the uh, cost of gold. We got behind this one in the sixes. It's now in the eights. You would have made, what, 5000 four, 5000 bucks. You would have put 10000 bucks on that one. All right. Uh, 3000 bucks, I guess. Anyway, there's Cassava breaching. Oh, it breached 30 bucks. Uh, it was up to 30, 41. It's now below 30. But so it likes that 30 where it just raised. When the market doesn't know what to do with these biotech stocks, they don't have cash flows. They don't have, how do you know, how do you, what does the market do with there as far as evaluation? When they raise money, that's, that's such a, uh, it's, it's such a sort of truth telling moment in the market. They raised money at $30. So what does the market do with the stock? I don't know, trade at $30, I guess. And there we are, $29.90. All right, let's, uh, let's dive in. Let's dive in. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay, let's, let's do this stuff. Here is ChatGPT. You, gotta, you, you have to. You have to start using ChatGPT. If you're scared about this artificial intelligence future, it sure is scary. I just read a book, Life 3.0, Elon Musk recommended, going through Elon Musk's recommended books list. And man, <laughs> this stuff is going to be powerful, is quickly getting more powerful than us. But it's, it's a, it turns out that's a great thing because you can do stuff like this. Uh, my tech issues, I, I've, I'm starting to ask this thing tech questions. I just ordered a new camera. 
Like, what the heck? I don't know about getting a camera, hooking it up, streaming, getting all the connections. I don't know about all this stuff. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can chat GPT do this? Yes. Really well. Really well. Like, what do I need? This is, well, here's what I want to do. What do I need? Here you go. P really wonderful. The next time you need to, like, do your remote control with all your universal remote, with all your stuff, I don't know how to do this. Go to chat GPT. It's wonderful stuff. All right. So I, I, so I asked chat GPT. This, this, by the way, this is Elon Musk's artificial intelligence. He's one of the, the investors in this artificial intelligence company. Uh, so I asked, how long approximately does it take biostatisticians with... Uh, so I, I looked at Cassava's press release. Cassava Sciences at the beginning of December said, we handed this data off. It's out of our hands and we're going to uh, hopefully get it by the year end and then we'll release it. This is for their one year open label date of 200 people. And uh, so I got so I, I took the info from the press release and I looked at clinicaltrials.gov to look at the primary and secondary endpoints and I've plugged it into chat GPT. How long approximately does it take biostatisticians with specific expertise in Alzheimer's disease to conduct an independent statistical analysis of ADAS-COG-11 safety and tolerability neuropsychiatric inventory on a clinical data set of 200 patients in an open label study, additionally, eight cerebrospinal fluid biomarkers will be analyzed in 25 of the patients. Chat GPT chatted back. It is difficult. What it said is it is still difficult because I asked this question a bunch of times to try to get them to give me an answer and I kept making my, my question better. It is still difficult to give a precise estimate of the time it would take a biostatistician to conduct an independent statistical analysis without more information about the specific data and statistical analysis that is being conducted. However, the size of the subset of patients, 25 patients, receiving additional analysis on the eight cerebrospinal biofluids is relatively small, and this may not significantly impact the time required for the statistical analysis. So right away, it's calling out, it's, it's the biomarkers that's gonna be everything. People have been saying, what is this? Isn't this just like an Excel thing? Don't they just have to crunch some numbers and hand it back? What the heck's taking so long? Uh, so right away, ChatGPT says, it's these biomarkers that, that are going to be the problem. It's going to take the time. Depending on the biostatistician's level of expertise and experience, as well as the availability of resources, it is possible that an independent statistical analysis of these data could be completed within a few weeks to a couple of months. So within a few weeks to a couple of months from the beginning of December, I wish I knew, that. I'm sure somebody, else, what was the exact date of that press release when they said we've handed it off? And then let's also remember, let's, let's, let's add another week for the holidays or eight days for the holidays, whatever it is. So it could be completed within a few weeks to a couple of months. However, it is important to note that this is a rough estimate and the actual time required may vary significantly, blah, blah, blah. All right. So any day now. So I asked, I asked the Twitterverse, Twitterverse, when will Sava release data? By the end of this week, by the end of next week, by the end of the month, or later, and the poll is still open, but by the end of next week, got 35.8% with 123 votes so far. End of January, got 30.9. Later than that, got 22.8. And end of today, end of this week, got 10.6%. It's not too late. It's not too late. And by the way, <laughs> uh, this green is starting to get a green is starting to get make a come uh, a comeback for the first time. I've been at for the third time. I asked what color is the sun as measured by peak photon count. I get this from Elon. I get this from Elon Musk. Elon once upon a time, a few weeks ago, said a nice trick question is what color is the sun? It appears white in space, but as measured by peak photon count is green. And he links that to a uh, how the, the, the gases in the atmosphere scatter the light. Blue light, for example, has a short wavelength, so it scatters better than red light, which is a long wavelength. So the sky is blue. Anyway, so, his, so he, he talks about that. So the answer is green, 23.3%. You know, if you were a random guest, would have gotten 25%. Uh, but we got less than that. 46.7% went with white, which is understandable. But no, it is green. How do you like that? Good job, team. 
Here is the Cassava Sciences Max Paint. It was $19 yesterday. That's only because I took a shot of the chain, the options chain. That's only because there's no, look, look at the volume and the open interest. The, yesterday, those options came online, so there was no open interest. And then the volume was 26, 15, 3, 6. So there's no, there, those options have no influence. So that was, it, was a nine, it was $19 yesterday. Now there's more options came online. So now the uh, max paint is 27, but still probably not too many, uh, probably not too heavy on the volume. Probably doesn't matter too much. And with that, my investing, fr oh gosh, forgot the biggest story. The big story, the big story is rain. When the rain comes, rain, let's go to rain at $9.04. Here is the grand finale small cap for 2022. I sent this out last Thursday after the market closed. Grand finale small cap for 2022, and it is a great one. Sign up for the newsletter. Sign up for the newsletter. We make fun of people that don't sign up for the newsletter. Look how quickly you could have made a lot more than your money back. Rain is a quarter billion dollar cancer play, or at least it was when I wrote about it, in the biotech hub of Northern California. We always talk about the biotech hubs. This one is in the, uh, the biotech bay hub, Northern California. Rain is testing melodamidin. Let me see how to pronounce this thing. Melodamidin. 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 Rain is testing melodamidin. Melodamidin in multiple cancer trials for its exciting P53 activity. P53 is very exciting stuff. So exciting that here we have the Guardians of the Galaxy. That's how exciting it is. The P53 gene is sometimes called the guardian of the genome for its powerful role preventing genome mutation and thus preventing and even eradicating cancer. Millie Dadman, I'm not gonna say that right, works by inhibiting a suppressor of P53. So P53 keeps things cancer free. Something suppresses P53 and you get cancer. Millie Dadman, Millie Demi God, it's, <laughs> it's a tough one, I'm not. I'm not Millidemidin. Millidemidin. Millidemidin works by inhibiting a suppressor of P53. So something suppresses P53, you get cancer. Okay, well, we inhibit that suppressor and that's how this drug works. This is not to be understated. P53 mutations are the most common mutation in human cancers, and P53 is inhibited in 50 to 60% of all human tumors. 50 to 60% of all human tumors. In a disease as heterogeneous as cancer, this represents an enormous shot on goal. Okay, don't get too excited. The suppressor of P53 that millidemidim targets is MDM2 gene, According to RAIN, only about 1.1% of all solid tumors meet the target criteria for this, for millidemidum, uh, meaning they have MDM2, and the, the connection of MDM2 suppressing P53, and with a high enough number of copies of MDM2, which is at least 12. Still, 90% of all cancers are solid tumors, so this drug could address 1% of the almost 2 million new cancer cases in the U.S. each year, or 20,000 maybe more. Sarcomas are soft tissue bone cancers, soft tissue and bone cancers, and these tumor types have some of the highest prevalence of MDM2 connected with P53. They also have poor outcomes, about 45% 10-year survival rate, not good, less than half survived 10 years. RAIN is in phase three for well-differentiated, de-differentiated liposarcoma, and they will read out top line in Q1 2023. So they read out the top line for this, this quarter. This is in phase three. The chances of success for Q1 phase three data are excellent. Why? They are going after the same endpoint of median progression-free survival that the drug already succeeded with in an earlier phase one study. They demonstrated 7.4 months of median progression-free survival then, which stacks up very well to Halavin's 2.2 months. Halavin is the best drug available, gives you 2.2 months. There's also another one approved, gives you 2, two months, 2.0 months in liposarcoma. They also just read out preliminary data for their ongoing phase two basket trial, which showed anti-tumor activity 
and helped the company raise $54 million in this cash-tight environment. This preliminary basket trial success is interesting. A basket study is a study across multiple cancer populations and characteristics. Success here is, is intriguing indeed. So this is across multiple different types. So meaning, could this have a wider spread? Maybe. Now, now maybe not. This is not just, it's not just any random ones. They picked ones that have those, uh, those characteristics, the, the connection and the high number of gene copies. Between the liposarcoma and basket indications, Rain thinks they can target almost 10,000 U.S. patients per year. And then there is the impending phase one trial in combination with Roach's atez atezolizumab in P53 wild type advanced solid tumors. This one could add another 45,000 patients annually. So the, the, the first two trials of just their drug alone, about 10,000 patients, but with, in combination with Roche's drug, another 45,000. So interesting. One risk we must talk about is treatment emergent adverse events. MDM2 is a good oncological target and Amgen, Merck, Novartis, Roche, and Sanofi all tried to develop therapies but abandoned them for safety reasons. Uh, Melidemidem, gosh, I got to say this right. Melidemidem. Melidemidem has safety data from both its phase one and phase two. While it's not great, so they have their phase one in liposarcoma, phase two in the basket study. While the data, the safety data is not great, the recently released phase two basket data is consistent with the phase one uh, liposarcoma sarcoma data that the FDA allowed to proceed to phase three. So it's not great, but it's consistent with what they already uh, allowed to go through. It is important to note Rain in licensed milidemidum from Daiichi Sankyo. Daiichi is eligible for $223 million in milestone payments and a royalty of a single high-digit percentage of sales. It seems as though drug pricing could be high. Analysts love the stock. Out of 13, there's 12 buys and one hold. And even with Daiichi taking a cut, they're projecting nearly a billion in sales across the three programs. And so right now the stock's at 919. Uh, they've got between 12 and 30 are the targets. That would give Rain a $4 billion takeout price if it was at, if they got, if they, so if, if it was nearly a billion, nearly a billion in sales, peak sales, you know, we do four to five times peak sales for takeout price. So nearly a billion in peak sales, we'll call that 4 billion takeout price. So that would give Rain a $4 billion takeout price. It currently sits at $260 million in market cap. It sits at $337 million in market cap now. A 16x looks reasonable and maybe even on a near-term takeout with phase two, three results about to be re released. Insiders like the stock too. Let's just look at all that green. Uh, last October, Perceptive Advisors sold $600,000 worth but that is against the backdrop of tens of millions of dollars of buys from everyone else. And Rain is founder-led. We have Avanish Valanki and Robert uh, Dable, uh, both, uh, both founders at the company, uh, chairman and CEO, as well as president and chief science officer. And then everyone there wears these blue fleeces in their, uh, in their pictures. When I worked at J.P. Morgan, some of the teams they were all they were they were fleece teams. Like that's like the that was the look. Everybody had to wear a fleece. You were either a fleece team or not a fleece team. This is a fleece team, <laughs> and they they got the, the powder blue fleeces. So I like that. As far as IP for Millidemidum, they have 14 issued patents in the U.S. and 97 internationally, expiring expiring 2032 through 2037, and numerous applications. They just raised some cash, as we said. They have about $147 million on the balance sheet, and they have no need to raise imminently. Finally, the stock has gone up about 15% 15 in the last two days. We are a bit frustrated with that, but we also think that the surge is an excellent indication of Q1 results, and it has. It didn't take a break. It just kept on going. Uh, it's now over 9 bucks, And that's it. So if you would have put 10,000 bucks into that one, you would have had made more than 2,000 bucks, just like that, up more than 20% uh, 
in a week since we got behind it with that my investing friends let's go to the phones we have pale says everyone should watch the anecdotals film at the anecdotals movie yacht to youtube channel so amazing how corrupt our government media and big pharma are they don't care how many people their lives their lies hurt so true I'm just not shocked anymore. Jaker coming at us from the Discord. Thank you, my friend. Good to see you. Join the join the newsletter to get stocks like this a week ahead of time before we talk about them. That's why you join the newsletter. You also get the Discord where we talk about all this stuff every day. Good morning, Joe. I bet Cassava is equally frustrated. We don't have data in time to rain on Biogen's parade. That's true. And we always forget they're probably as frustrated as we are about all of this stuff. TMDI, robot surgery, up 35% last couple months. Thank you, my friend. Chris says, I think Saba needs extra time to investigate some anomalies in the data caused by sabotage. Could be. Quezzy, good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, Joe. Go Saba. I hope you loked, my friend. Great to see you, Quezzy. JF, could Saba be waiting to release until after Biogen's decision today? Uh, I, I doubt it. I don't, that's material stuff that usually they shouldn't be sitting on it because it can leak. Good morning, Joe. One of the stocks you recommended, which ones have Q1 catalysts or most likely to see upward movement sooner by the end of the year? Bob C. Rain, as we're seeing. Rain is up. Now it's at 928. Uh, so it's up. You would have made 2,500 bucks on your 10,000, 25,000 on your 100,000. Uh, sign up for the newsletter. Rain. Cassava's got catalysts out the wazoo. SC Pharma, every quarter is going to be a catalyst with its reporting its sales numbers. Same thing with Transmedics. Uh, there's four. Uh, there's, there's probably others, but there's four. Scard says, how did you do that, buddy? Scard was able to post... Oh, this is in the Investors Club Discord. Scard was able to post a, uh, a link. How interesting. You can't, you can't post a link from YouTube. He was able to post it from the Investors Club Discord. Pale Primate, uh, Joe, if you're confident in Saba stock going to 1000 or above, why aren't you buying more at these prices? Isn't Saba the stock you are most bullish on? I'm hodling. Uh, you can't just buy every single minute if you like a stock. I'm, I've got my position and I'm hodling. I don't know what to tell you, my friend. And I told you I've got, it is, it, I do, I am, I am very bullish on it. And while you're busting my chops, I am very bullish on it. But I just gave the uh, best 23 stocks of 2023. And I said, I love all my children equally, you know. But I am very bullish on it. Nancy, are they returning to weekly options again? And if they are, how does it affect share price? Yes, that is the ones people were talking about had the $19 max pain for next Friday. Uh, it, it, it. It, 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 it allows, the more options do allow more chances for a little bit of short-term manipulation. Uh, but, but frankly, it doesn't change the data. It doesn't change the Alzheimer's market. It doesn't change the fact that there's no good drugs out there. So it doesn't, it, it doesn't not change the fundamentals of the company. It can make it more volatile, I suppose. They probably had the data since October, October early November. It's open label, so they have the data, but they're waiting for it to be... Uh, third, third party verified. Good morning, Joe. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Ishmael. TGIF, my friend. Michael, December 6th Sava is the PR date. Thank you, my friend. And so here we are, January 6th, so uh, a few weeks to a couple of months. So it could be between now and February 6th, according to ChatGPT. Add another week for the holidays, February 13th, Valentine's Day. So that, So between now and Valentine's Day, let's not get is that right? Is that when Valentine's Day is February 14th or something? Let's, uh, let's not get too excited between now and the middle of February because according to chat, or be quitting, because according to our computer overlords, uh, that's, uh, that, that'll be okay. That, that's, uh, that's, that's within the, uh, the prescribed time. M. Rez, morning, Joe. Do you think Sava will wait until after monthly options expire to release data? I don't think they'll consider the options. Happy Friday, everyone. Joe won't have a show Saturday or Sunday, so you can all watch Anecdotals this weekend. <laughs> Joe, do you ever pick OTC? Yes, I wrote up Armenino Foods, and Armenino Foods is in the Big Dividends newsletter. Uh, 
why would you be OTC? Why would you be listed? Why would you be listed in the first place to raise money? And so when we talk about these companies going over to T0, it's they, they there's like well, there's a lack of liquidity. They're not going to be able to raise money as well as easy. And if it's a company like Cassava that gets private placements, where a an, uh, biotech fund comes to them and says, "We want some. Let us give you some money." That's a lot different. They don't need to sell into the market. They don't need a lot of liquidity. So they, for them, it really wouldn't matter. For a company like Anavex, they have a shelf filing. So they actually they do sell shares into the market. So they need to be on a major exchange. They need the liquidity. The company like Anavex, then that, and, that, and, and that's why you go public. And that's why you have these exchanges to have a lot of liquidity so, so you can raise money. That, that's the whole point of being listed publicly is to raise money. Okay, then what, what about this OTC stuff? Well, you can still be listed publicly without being on a major exchange, sort of like T0, but T0 is special because it's blockchain. But there's, there's, there's the traditional exchanges or you, can, or you can still be listed publicly in a traditional way without being on a major exchange like NASDAQ or New York Stock Exchange. You can be OTC or pink. Why would you do that Why, instead of NASDAQ? Because it costs like $400,000 a year to be listed on these major exchanges. So if your market cap is $100 million or more, okay, $400,000 a year, whatever, I guess. But if, if, if your market cap is $10 million, then $400,000 a year is 4% of your market cap every year just to be listed on that exchange. So, at, you, it, it's, so companies... You better be a big enough company to be listed on an exchange. And if you're going to be, you could have a tough time if you want to be selling shares into the public market, but not be on a major exchange. So anyway, anyway, that, that it's, you like to see, so why would a company, could I still like a company that's OTC? Yes. What I'm getting to is Armanino Foods has been profitable for decades and pays dividends quarterly as well as special dividends. They don't need to raise money. They don't need to be on a, a major exchange. That's a perfect example of an OTC of a company that should be OTC. They're small. They're like sixty million or one hundred million. I think they're one hundred million, one hundred twenty million market cap these days. But why would they want to pay the four hundred thousand dollars out to Nasdaq when they could pay four hundred thousand dollars out extra in dividends to shareholders every year? And they do, and that's brilliant of them. So yes, I do, uh, and that is some background about why you would be listed where you're listed. Look at Cirque. What do you think enrollment may have been slower for December? Uh, I mean, I guess for the holidays, potentially. Richard, do you think Remy wanted the data triple checked before releasing it? One mistake will kill the stock. I think he wanted to be able to say you can't, this, that, that this data is bulletproof. You can't impugn this data is what I think he wanted to say. Can you check what's up with Compass? Also, please look and talk about Netlist. Uh, Compass... I've got, I haven't looked, we talked about it yesterday. I've, I've got a you want a price target or whatever? I've got, I've got to look at it. You linked a nice report yesterday, Jay, but it was from this, like December or whatever. Like that was, a, I'd, I'd seen that, whatever it was. Let me take, let me take a look at Compass. Netlist has been uh, crushing its Go Netlist had that update, had an update a couple of days ago, but I didn't have it ready for today. Netlist is OTC. There you go. Hi, Joe. Anything to read in Biogen Padufa if it's not released today? Uh, I mean, if, if it's not, if they don't announce today, they're just trying, in my opinion, to massage some way to make it acceptable that they're going to approve it. They're, we're going to approve it, but oh, we're going to watch it so closely. Oh, gosh. We're just going to be so careful with it or some crap like that, you know, <laughs> so they can give the pharma, give big pharma everything they want, but also some lip service. You know, JC, happy Friday. Max Payne seems to be all over the place. 19 yesterday, 27 when you saw it, 29 now, 30 for 120, 15 for 20 for 224. Again, if it's 15 for 224, I would just look at the open interest. I would bet there's like almost none. And then so, so if there's almost no positions, there's almost no influence that they exert on the market. If somebody wrote tons and tons and tons of options and they expire in the money and they're going to lose a lot of money, they have tons and tons and tons of incentive to drive the stock to the price that's not going to hurt them. But when there's only a couple options out there, it really doesn't matter. Jay, Cirque has make, is making money and expected to be listed soon. I'll take a look at it, buddy. 
Pale primate diversification is good. Remy doesn't want the same thing that happened to Anavex, flubbing their presentation of data, probably. Yeah. And, they, and, 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 and not, you don't even have to look at Anavex. Yes, Anavex got attacked. But it's cassava. I mean, they can just look at themselves. They get attacked. One of your children is up approximately 13% since the New Year life, Sava life. Yeah, we, we haven't barely even talked about attire. Are you wearing the correct attire for this? Because life is at 254. Look at it go. I, we don't even get time to talk about this one. If you would have gotten this one, uh, look at it go. Then, and this one, this is this is this one has so much further to go. Its market cap is 73 million. Come on, this is the opportunities in the billions for that one. In the billions for that one. Sign up for the newsletter. Sign up for the newsletter. Invite Alex of Yahoo. Alex of Yahoo, you're invited. Brain bleeding and deaths. How do you spin that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you have the ESG. These people, their their carbon footprint after taking the cane mab is zero. Zero. <laughs> How green. JC, for how much longer do you think FDA will maintain its hold on IKT's testing? I think, I, I think that uh, that's up to, I think it partly is in IKT's court. They had to make some updates and they were in the middle of it last we heard. So it's, it's, it was a partly in their court. I love life. <laughs> I love life. Life is that interstitial lung disease, uh, orphan drug play, really great play. I invited Dr. Sanjay Shukla onto the show. I have not heard back. Phil, hi, Joe. Appreciate all you do. Got in late, but always watch the replay. Happy weekend. Thank you, Phil. Great to see you here, my friend. All right, guys. I'm so happy to be here uh, Be here with you. Just so happy you are here. Uh, great to see you. I, 105 people. First time we got 100 people uh, in, in a while. Uh, we're going to get over 1,000. I've got I've, I've got enough to, to do, the, do the new studio over the weekend. It'll get better over the next week. After that as well, you'll see. But uh, I mean, it's not, not going to be that great. But it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm looking forward to that. So next week, we'll have a new studio. And I'll be, I'll be working on the biotech class and roll that out. And then uh, I think the week, I think not next week, but a week after that, we'll start the div Big Dividends Everyday Show too. Just a quick show saying, here's what's paying dividends. And if people want to chat, and then sometimes subscribers say, you know what? I, I want you to do a piece of content on it. And I'll do some content on it. All right. Let's... Uh, Jim, top of the morning, Joe, ask chat GPT, what is your latest training data? Oh, that's a good question. I will. Please hit like, says Pisa Garn. Please hit like. You're going to like liking like. And if you, the algorithm likes like, and you're going to like liking like, I'll tell you that. And if you like liking like, oh my gosh, are you going to love sharing this and commenting? <laughs> uh, remember to click thumbs up. Thank you, Bob. Joe, thanks, Joe, for all you do. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much, Joe. Jay. Uh, <laughs> Bob Crane is from Hogan's Heroes. Uh, <laughs> happy New Year, says Joe. Happy New Year, uh, all. You, uh, happy New Year, everybody. Great to see you guys. We'll make sure that Monday is a great day. Monday is supposedly the most miserable day for working people. It's the first full week uh, after a new year, so we'll make Monday a, a great day. Maybe we'll have data by then. Uh, we'll have a new set and a, and a great show. Sign up for the newsletter. Laughing his uh, butt off, says Bob. Joe V says, is the class going to be online or a YouTube video? It's going to be online. It's going to be Zoom. We'll do, oh, it'll be three or four nights of like three hours, I think. Because it's going to, I think it'll be at least 10 hours. I'm thinking either, either like 10, 12, 9, 10, 12 hours. It's going to be, I'm thinking like three, three or four chunks of three hours. Uh, it, it's, it's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. And I'm very excited about it. It's very, very good content. It's going to be expensive and it's going to come with a money back guarantee. If you could look me in the eye and say that was not the best class possible, you got it back because it's going to be the best class possible. It's, it's, I'm putting a lot into it and it's very good. So thank you so much, guys, for being here. Great to see you. We'll do it again on Monday. Sign up for the newsletter because we make fun of people that don't and you're missing out. And can't wait, says Jay. I can't wait too. Thank you, my friend. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the Discord. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. See you.